Hello everyone, welcome back to Visual Timmy Illustration. In today's tutorial, what we're gonna do is make our own color palettes. And to do that, we're gonna pull some really awesome images that already have colors that are amazing. And we are going to simply borrow them and put them into a custom Procreate swatch file. And with that swatch file, we'll be able to set it as our default panel for any project that we're working on. So first we're gonna start off in Google Images and unless you already have an image you want to pull the colors from, we can start here to find an image that's gonna work for your needs. So let's go and type in landscape pastel wallpaper. This should be a good start. So you can wor use words like wallpaper, landscape, and this will bring up full HD images. A lot of the times it'll be photos or artwork. And you also have these options up here that say nature, beautiful, anime, Tumblr, yada, yada, yada. You can use these to find images that you like. So I typed in pastel. So for the example of this video, I'll make a pastel palette. So I'm gonna go through and look for an image that really catches my eye. Something that has the colors balanced really well and something that I want to replicate. I like this one. So the main reason that we could do this is because we're not stealing the image. We're not copying the image. We're not using any of the copyright of the image since you can't own a color. Now we get to take advantage of the fact that this person has already done the legwork of building a beautiful color palette into their photo or piece of artwork. So simply tap and hold, copy, then we'll open up, not mail, then we'll open up Procreate, start a new project. I'm gonna choose one of my projects that's 3000 by 3000 pixels, just so if the image is large, we have enough space to work on it. Then we could use our three fingers, swipe down, paste, and now we have our image inside here. I'm gonna go ahead and blow it up and put it over to the side. Now that we have our image that we want to pull the colors from, we're going to go ahead and select a plain brush. I'll, I'm going to use Vector Chunk and dial it up to a pretty good size. That way we can stamp the color. So I'm going to use my right hand to tap and hold to select a color with the color picker. Alternatively, you could use this little dot over here and bring up your color tool. If you don't want to do that, you can simply tap and hold and it'll pop up right above you where you can pick any color inside the photo. So I'm going to start by picking the deepest blue up here in the top and make a color swatch over here. Then I'm going to pull down and grab another color that's a little bit lighter blue. And I'm going to keep going down the image, pulling this entire gradient so that I'm able to recreate it. Now, when you press and hold, you can see the color that you previously selected and the color that you're currently selecting. That way you don't end up picking the same color twice. You'll be able to see exactly what color you have chosen. So always make sure that you're using a color that's slightly different so you can build out the palette. Continue down choosing all the colors that you want to include. And although the snow looks really bright down here, when we sample the color, we can actually see that it's not white at all. It's not even near white, but in relation to these other colors in the palette, it looks white. And that's what's important about tricking your eye and setting a mood for a color palette. The next thing you want to do when you have your colors chosen is come over here to your colors panel. Down here, you see palettes, press palettes. And then in the top right, you see a plus sign. Tap the plus sign and you make a new palette called Untitled. Once you've created your new palette, tap on Untitled Palette and change the name to something that you'll remember. So let's do Purple Pastel. Make sure it's set as default and then come over here and select Classic again. Now you have your purple skirt. Now you have your purple pastel. Damn it. <clears throat> now you have your purple pastel color palette down here. So currently it's empty and the best part about setting your colors aside over here is that now you can simply tap and hold with your left hand and then select it onto the swatch file with your right. So the, 
To make this work, you need to tap and hold, select the color palette, and then tap on the first square. So sometimes this won't work and you'll tap and the colors won't be selected. To fix that, simply close out your color panel and open it back up again. Now you can tap and hold on your next color and start filling in the panel like so. These two colors seem a little bit too similar. I'm not seeing much of a difference. So what you can do is tap and hold for a long time and then you get the option to delete and add all of the colors that you want in your palette. So once you have your swatch file filled up, now you can easily come back to this anytime in your palettes panel. And as you can see, once you have a pretty good library of swatches set up, you'll always have color palettes to choose from. So let's scroll back up and click on our default. And from here, you have a few options for exporting if you'd like to share it with other people, or maybe you want to make a color palette pack where you actually sell them maybe on Etsy or sell them on Creative Market or some of these other third party sites. What you can do is swipe it to the right and you get the option to share or delete. Simply press share and you can export it right to files, Dropbox, AirDrop, whatever you want. So overall, that is how you find an image, pull the colors, add them to a swatch, and save it as a default. So next time you need a new color palette, what you can do is find an image that strongly represents what you're looking for, and then pull the colors from it, add them in just like I showed you, and then you have a color palette inside Procreate that you can always access anytime. All right? If you stay to the end, then you're actually gonna see a special tip. And first of all, I'd like to congratulate you for sitting through that tutorial. What you do is you come over to the magic wand tool, adjustments, come all the way down to hue, saturation, and brightness, tap on that, and drag the hue until you find something that you kind of like. Ooh, I like this, a lot more green, a lot lighter purples and no reds. So tap on the adjustments again, come down to color balance. From color balance, you could tweak cyan, red, magenta, green, yellow, and blue sliders and fine tune this new palette that you're creating. Over here on the right, there's a little sundial. Tapping this will let you switch between adjusting the highlights, midtones, and shadows. So simply cycle through these Make your adjustments with these bars down here at the bottom, and then you have a whole nother color palette ready to be selected and dropped into a new swatch file. So once you have them all adjusted exactly how you'd like, tap on your little magic wand tool again to deselect and commit the changes. Now simply come on over to your colors panel, hit palettes, add a new one. I'm gonna call this one Vivid Purple. Then you can easily select your color and start filling in your next palette. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped and I'd love to see the color palettes that you guys make. So send them to me on Instagram, post them in the comments here. I'd love to see them. If you have any requests for special videos or tutorials, leave them in the comments below. By the way, if you haven't gotten my free Procreate starter kit yet, the link for that will also be in the description and possibly in the top pinned comment below that has 13 kick-ass Procreate brushes that come straight out of my Excel bundle. 100% free, try them out, let me know how you like them, send me your artwork through DM, or tag me with hashtag Timmy Brushes. This way I can send it to my stories, share it, and see what you guys all create.